Okay, this is the end mill sharpening fixture I've been working on. It's a, a bit of a conglomeration of different sort of ideas from different people. Uh, Philip Duclos, his shop wisdom, and Harold Hall's book. Uh, it's set up at the moment for cutting, grinding the flutes. You've got a, a guide finger under here that the flutes follow, and you go in. Okay, that's your end mill. This here is an ER32 straight shank uh, collet holder, bought off the internet. <clears throat> this part here is the uh, little cam device where you can put the cut on, cut it off. I'm in this position here, and you push it down following the finger. And when you get to the end, you throw that, and it moves that over slightly, 16th to that way taking the cut off and bring it back re-engage the next flute put it back on take the cut this here is an indexer so with the, the I can then also use it for grinding the end of the flute I'll uh, have a go see if I can take some picture of me actually cutting with it Here we have it set up for grinding the front of the flutes. The uh, index collar is lockable so I can bring it right up and lock the ER32 holder in place. That's the indent there. I can lift it up, bring it round, come to the next round to the next flute, so on. Uh, the holder's slewed round a little bit to put front clearance on the cutter and the uh, Grindy wheel is also tilted back to give the front clearance on the cutter. Right, I'll uh, give you a demo. Okay, uh, the cam's locked up with this. I'm all set to start grinding the front wheel. I've got to stop here as well. Just stop back. And that Tilt the head back another 10 degrees and put the secondary clearance in. At the other end of the grinder I've also got a thin wheel where I can actually gas the front from where you make the recess again. Hope you understood that. Bye now.